Check it out, guys. Guess what my air conditioner, my uh, my home air conditioner is running on right now. It's running on my battery and my solar. So that's a three and a half ton condenser unit. And it's running completely on my solar and my uh, lithium battery. So let's go into the garage and take a look. So there's the array. Take a peek there. The inverter is buzzing like crazy right now as you can see right now it's pumping out uh, 5500 watts so 5.5 kilowatts and let's see currently it's uh, that's about five o'clock in the afternoon right now and my panels or some of them are shaded so they only put out um, 700 watts and I've produced so far today 18.1 kilowatts. My battery, when I got home, before I turned on the air conditioner, was at about 48, 47.9 uh, volt. And then when I turned it on, the air conditioner, plus my, plus the refrigerator and everything's house in the, the basic low, and my wife is doing the induction cooking in there again. So we're cooking at the same time, refrigerator, lights, fan, and then the uh, 3.5 ton air conditioner condenser units plus the air handler. Uh, so that total out to be about uh, 5.5 kilowatts. And that is 116 amps at 48 volts pretty amazing and my battery voltage only dropped 0 .4, 0 0.4 of a volt uh, under 115 amps low and right now it's uh, about at about 75 percent but you can hear the inverter is definitely uh, working it's not that hot though it's 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 warm uh, some of you might ask why the heck would I have an air conditioner running you know um, at the end of March, but it's it's actually 87 degrees today here in Phoenix, Arizona. So it is uh, pretty damn hot uh, So I have everything crank it. I'm checking to see if you know Because this is the first time that I've actually pulled this much of low on, on my uh, Konex um, X6848 uh, here uh, So I'm just pulling as uh, you know trying to get as much low on there as possible so I can check the wire make sure that nothing's overheated or you know nothing's gonna go wrong so I'm just checking to see if everything run cool and so far so good the inverter stay pretty cool and then the wire is probably about 95 degrees right now and if we check the temp here let's see so the wire, uh, this wire right here is going directly into the uh, midnight whiz bang shunt and the shunt itself, it's a 500 amp shunt and it actually have a temperature uh, probe that attaches to that shunt. So basically that shunt is saying that it's at 98.6 degree for that shunt. So yeah, that's pretty close to what this wire is when I measure with my temp gun. So it's pretty, pretty close. So it's about 100 degrees. And these wire are welding cable, and I think they can go up to. Uh, 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 let's see. It said it can go up to something like a hundred Celsius, I believe. Let's see. Yes, yeah, 600 volts from negative 50 to 105 Celsius. Um, so that's pretty high and this is in Fahrenheit so I'm not sure um, how much is 100 Celsius probably like 200 something degrees so I think I'm relatively safe there but I might upgrade to a bigger cable um, so who knows so we'll see but look at that 5 plus kilowatts and this inverter is you know it's handling it with, without any issue so there you go. Again, another show off video of the power of lithium. And
And let's check my battery temperature. Look at my battery temperature. 79.5, lower than ambient. It's pretty amazing, right? Well, thanks for watching.